Hi all, this video is meant for instructors who are working with a pool of test bank questions from a publisher that can be imported into the test gen test bank editor from Pearson. So if this isn't true of you, then this video isn't gonna be relevant for you. If instead you're working with something like a Word file, then you wanna check out one of the other videos. But assuming you can import from your publisher your test bank questions, well, there's gonna be an easy way to bring this into Blackboard. So what we're gonna do is find our pool and assuming you've already imported it, if not, you can always go to add a test bank. It's a very set format, um, so hopefully you've already done this. But then I go into my test bank of questions, and maybe I want to just drag in a certain chapter or select questions. Well, either way, what I'm going to do is click paper test. It starts creating a test for me, and now maybe I want to again select certain questions or a whole chapter. In this case, I'm going to check a whole chapter, drag it in to the test. So all of the questions from that chapter are being imported to that test. If instead I wanted individual ones, I would just go open up that chapter and pick specific ones. But what I'm now going to do is go and choose to export it. And please note, you do have to click the test to make sure it will let you actually export. So now I can choose export. And what I'm going to do is choose within the file drop down menu, there's this Blackboard format, six to nine. That's just versions. But I want the Blackboard format. I can call it whatever I want. In my case, maybe I'm just going to call it test. Um, and you don't have to put a name for the pool, but I'm going to just to make my life easy. And then I'm going to export that out. Uh, it'll warn you if there is certain question types that aren't allowed, but it will still try to export as well. I can look at the issues, but in this case, I'm just going to export and assume that it will let me do whichever ones I want. In my case, I'm going to export it out to my desktop. Test file and save. And you can see it did tell me which problems wouldn't go. Now, what I can do is go to my Blackboard site. Great, now we're on our course site. And what we're gonna do is scroll down within the menu onto the course management area. What we want is to select course tools and within the sub menu, test surveys and pools. In this case, what we're gonna be doing is importing a pool of questions to work with. So let's we'll choose pools. And then there's this nice import pool uh, option right here. I select that. And now what we have to do is select the file we just saved. So you can either browse for it, or in my case, I'm gonna actually drag it in. And now I'm going to submit. And this will start importing my pool of questions, which might take a little bit of time, but it should happen right now. So we can see now that the import is finished. If I wanted to, I could go look at this pool of questions. So go in, you can see I have imported this 70 set of questions. Of course, I still have to build my actual test. So what I'm gonna do is go back out to test surveys and pools, choose tests. In this case, I'm gonna build a test, call it whatever I want. In my case, example, I could put description, I could put instructions, submit. But now this is where I'm gonna find that pool of questions. What I can do is choose find questions and then it will pull up that pool, which I can then select and choose any of the questions from within that pool to use. Another neat thing that you could do, rather than just selecting these questions and using whichever ones you want, you can also choose to create a question set. So what I can choose is that same pool, and maybe I want to choose, I don't know, the first 25 questions. And then one of the options I'll actually have is to choose how many of the questions are picked from this pool to use in this test. So maybe I wanna pick the five questions from this pool of questions so that each student might get a slightly different set of five out of the 25. Once I'm actually done building this test, I will go to wherever on my course site I want to load it. So maybe I wanna go back to my homepage. And in this case, what I'm gonna do is turn edit mode on. And maybe I have a resource area where I'm gonna load this test. Go to resources, choose the test, that I've just built. And then I would choose all the appropriate settings, like maybe I want it available to all my students, if I wanted to give them multiple attempts, if I wanted to set a timer. You don't want to do forced completion because if a student gets disconnected, they can't get back in. Um, but there's a variety of settings you could look at. And then once you're ready, you submit the test and it's now on your Blackboard site.